we have two packages from Endless Pens. I've never ordered from them before, so I figured I would unbox it with you guys together. I wasn't going to order anything, but they had their Memorial Day sale, and they had a really, really good deal on both of these pens. So this happened. I don't know which box is which, but I'm going to do one now and then do maybe another video for the other one because I don't want to overwhelm you guys. And I also want to keep my videos organized in case you ever want to reference them. Let's do the lighter one. I think my assumption is the lighter one is less expensive. I don't know. I really like their tape. It's very cute but I don't think I can save it. This is about as far as I got trying to rip it. Oh, by the way, I have inky fingers. I apologize. I also bought these pens like one day apart from each other. That's why they're in separate boxes. Got stuffing. All right, they wrapped it up. That's nice. Always feels like Christmas. I had a long week, so I'm pretty tired. So I don't know if I can be as excited. Oh, very nice. It's a Lamy. Do you guys say Lamy or Lamy? I think I end up saying Lamy. C. Joseph Lamy GmbH 6911 Heidelberg. Oh my gosh. This is kind of a grail pen. I don't know. Maybe not. I think it's more like, let me, let me just open it first. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, oh nice. Very nice. Oh my god. Whoa. Wait, it's heavier than I thought it would be. Hold on. Oh, there's nothing else in the box. Okay. This is a nice box though. The only lamis I've gotten are in the cardboard box. So this is a step up. Is it magnetic? I think it's magnetic. That's fun. All right. So my overhead camera stand broke and now I'm like hiding behind this microphone and camera and I can't actually see the pen. Ooh. The top is like shiny and glossy. It's like weirdly stained. Is that normal? I don't think you guys can tell in this lighting. Maybe you can, but like this part is lighter and then it kind of ends. But there's like streaks and spots like on this side right here. This is what the other end looks like. It's metallic, silver. We have the clip. Nice spring to it. This is the Lamy 2000, a pen that I never thought that I would get because I thought it was really ugly. I don't know. It just seemed like a very professional, old-fashioned, bland, boring, corporate kind of pen. And I didn't really see the appeal, so I didn't really think I would like this pen. <laughs> but I went to Blick Arts in person, and they sell these at Blick, and I felt it. You know, this doesn't feel like what I had felt or what I remember feeling. The Macrolon felt different. The material intrigued me. Right now, it's not so much. But I did try somebody's at the pen meetup that I have in my local city, and I was really, really impressed with how it wrote, so it took a spot on my wish list. So this is the Lamy 2000. Whoa, that's pretty cool. The inside of the cap has little metal pinchers. Not pinchers, but like little metal pieces that can kind of make sure that it stays capped. Oh, that's kind of satisfying. Here's a click. And you can feel the metal pieces kind of doing that over it. So, oh wow. Okay, this has a 14 karat gold nib. And then these little metal pieces. Are they to engage the cap? Possibly. Very cool. Okay, we also have a wing ink window, so that'll be handy. The thing that impressed me the most about this pen, though, is, I don't know, I guess I didn't watch any videos and I never really looked into it because I thought the pen was ugly. And so when I tried it at Pen Club, I was like, how do you fill this? Because I thought you were like untwisted here. And the guy that I was borrowing it from, he went like this and I gasped like audibly. And everyone kind of got a kick out of that because I did not know that it could even come apart there. Seamless. I mean, I can see it now that I know that it exists. Let me see. Okay. You can kind of see it right there. I can see it now that I know it exists, but I didn't know it at all. And when he untwisted it, I thought it was pure magic. But I don't know how far back this goes. Okay. Whoa. Did I break it? Does it go out this far? I definitely should have watched some videos on this. 
but I didn't think I was gonna get this until like the end of this year. And then, ooh, is that the breather hole? I hope you guys like don't comment on this video and be like, why she know nothing about this pen? This is more of a first impressions unboxing video. I wasn't gonna get this. I knew it was on my wish list for like some point in the future because it is such a classic and timeless pen. I feel like you have to have it in your collection. I mean, you don't have to have anything in your collection, but people talk about it so much that it's like you have to at least try it. So I tried it, I liked it. I was gonna get it at the end of this year because I know Endless Pens used to have like a good Black Friday sale, but for the Memorial Day sale, they actually had a pretty good discount. They discounted it and then they have their like hop drop thing and then you could add 20% off on that. So it ended up being around 134. So it was pretty good for this pen nowadays. I don't like the uneven finish. Can you guys tell? It's like this here and there's a little spot and it has a rough texture i thought it was more smooth and like not rubber but like a softer material this feels more like a unfinished brushed metal maybe like if i get more hand oils on there it'll become softer i don't know well i guess i should wash it and test it out right be right back so twist it up to release ink and then submerge twist it down to inhale ink and you can feel the pen gets heavier now it's running more clear so that's good okay now that we have better lighting though i'm gonna show you guys again what i was talking about so when you close it i'm assuming the internal piston goes up inside there's several components i guess you can't see but there's like a plastic inner cap, there's metal bands going up that can like allow you to slip on the cap, and there's also a metal ring. And then of course, up here there's like this piece. I'm guessing, I wonder if it's removable, I don't think you should remove it. And then there's the clip that probably goes in there. And then here is what I was talking about with the stains. It's harder to tell now with more even lighting, which is good but you can kind of see it like here. Is that normal? I'm just kind of picky, you know? Like, is it dirty? Here, right there. I don't think you guys can tell really. I can tell, but I'll probably ignore it if I like the pen, so. I do like that it's a very quick snap cap. So there's that. We're gonna use my trusted ink, the Pilot Hiroshizuku Takesumi. This was my first ever bottle of ink and I'm still really happy with it. Oh, this is exciting. What is that inside the bottle? I've never noticed these little nubbies. Is that to hold the cap down? Do you see these little nubbies? There's one there, one here, and one on the other side. I wonder if it has something to do with like the mechanism of the cap. Anyway, I hope this is good because I just need something good. It's been a long week. Okay, all right, so it's blowing bubbles into the ink because I'm twisting the piston out, which means this piston is lowering. So my bad. Let's twist it all the way out first. I don't want to like crank it all too hard. Oh, how much do I submerge? Oh, I guess it should be fine. Does this stain? I don't think it should, right? Good thing the ink level isn't that high in this bottle and the pilot. Hiroshizuku's. They have this little divot. Do you see the ink window when you cap it? No. It might be bubbly, so I can't really see the ink. I mean, it's black. It's not exactly transparent. It's like foggy. It's like the window is on the inside. Oh, guys can't see. There's the window. Okay, let's test it out. I finally get to use some new Pen Day stickers. I haven't been able to use these in a while. I, I mean, you guys are probably seeing new pen day videos, but that doesn't mean I buy like that day, you know? Or like the day I post the video might be like several months out. So new pen day stickers from my Etsy shop, if you're interested. Today is the 31st, but I already kind of used this for inking up my Pilot Custom 742. So should we go to June 1st or should we do 530? Well, actually, I want to do 30 inks 30 days, so I'm going to do 530. We're going to have to change the video angle 
again. All right, finally got a new camera angle. Here we go. Ooh, I've never posted it. Oh, wow. I'm afraid that like eventually the snug fit, whatever you call it, will lose its friction ability to cap and post. Is that gonna happen? I don't know. I usually post my pens, so. New pen day. Oh, whoa. Whoa, hold on. I got a medium. Lamy 2000. Jeez. Oh my god. Wow. It's smooth, but I'm just shocked by how thick the line is. This is supposed to be a medium nib, and I know the western nibs, right, broader than the Japanese nibs, and then people were also telling me the medium in gold was gonna write broader than the Lamy Safari medium, which makes sense, because I was debating between a broad or medium. I think I'm happy with this. This is posted. Wow. It feels like it's almost too big. New pen day. New pen day. Yeah, like for the Hobonichi grids, it might be a little too big, but it is very smooth. Let me try it unposted. Unposted. Take Sumi Pilot Iroshi Tsuku. It rides well. I don't know. I think it's like I'm almost somehow not as excited as I thought I'd be, but that might be because I ordered another pen with this. I don't feel like I deserve two pens at once. That might sound weird, but I determine, oh, if I hit my goals, then I buy a pen kind of thing. And because of the deals, I just kind of went ahead and bought the pen prior to feeling like I deserve it. Let me grab a Lamy Safari. I think I'm also frustrated because this new camera angle just is not it for me especially with like the way the microphone's facing i put the microphone in a different location and now i can't see the camera that well all right whatever here is the lamy safari that i got from blick arts actually back in 2000 i think it was 21 lamy safari medium yeah it's definitely less smooth and i'm more gentle with this one this has some mixed ink if you saw my inky vlog number two you would know what this is inked with this one is let me wow look at that difference this one almost just like it comes out because it wants to like the ink just wants to come out of this pen let me 2000 it's really smooth i like this it's a little heavier posted i think i'm okay with it it's not like unbearable but I think I like it unposted, which never happens. Yippee. New pen. This one, it makes me... There's less feedback, so it makes me feel like I can't really write slow and intentional with it. I have to just scribble. Like, I can be slow and intentional. And I almost feel like I'm writing with a marker. Like, I'm a teacher trying to write on a dry erase board but if i want to like slow or no fast and fun like i want to i want to use it to scribble fast notes you know instead of like the quick brown fox etc the quick brown fox it's funny because i never write like i write more like slow but this this almost is like a doctor's pen where you can just scribble your scripts. Whereas this is more controlled. The quick brown fox. Like you can't you can't rush with this one because there's so much feedback. You know? Brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. If I post it, I feel like I have more control. Let's do caps. Yeah. There's more control because there's more weight and it slows me down. The lazy dog. What about reverse writing still really good with reverse writing not terrible it's definitely a really broad line i think you know what this is the first gold nib that i've gotten that's a western gold nib right yeah because most of mine were sailors platinums and pilots so maybe this is just new to me it's like i'm coloring with a marker i feel like the sakura pigma microns these ones this is a 12. Sakura. Okay, it's not that broad. Maybe a 10. Maybe an 8. Yeah. 
Pigma. We're gonna do another page because I'm really intrigued by this pen. Sakura Pigma Micron 08. Oh, it's like heavy towards the cap. Uncapped. It's kind of pretty evenly balanced, I would say. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, pretty evenly balanced. This end might be heavier. Yes, this end is heavier. Just a little bit, but it feels pretty even throughout the pen. What is this called again? Lamy 2000 Medium with Pilot Hiroshi Zuku Take Sumi. Okay, I'm rotating the pen while I write. I don't know why. Not bad. Wet writer. Okay, don't know if it's my mood. I like it, but I'm not like obsessing over it. And I know I don't have to be for each video, but I don't know. Something's different. What else do I have to say about it? Let's weigh it. If you want to compare the size, length, it's almost exact to the Lamy Safari. Let me get out some other gold nibs. Here's the Pilot Vanishing Point, Sailor Pro Gear Slim, Esterbrook SD, Platinum 3776. These are all kind of the same length. Cool. So, I mean, if you want a gold nib pen that's kind of in i think it's under two no it's 200 isn't it well anyway if you want a gold nib pen these are pretty common ones that people go for and here are the lengths here is kind of what they look like lengthwise uncapped so it's about the length of the platinum after i got past the entry level lamis i never really explored the brand any more than that because I kind of knew that I would want to do the Lamy 2000. But anyway, here's grams. Now remember this is, it has ink in it. 17.2 grams. This is the Lamy All Star. It is 21.7 grams. And this is the inked Lamy 2000 and it is 26.5 grams. So not too bad. I used to think I liked pens that weren't too heavy and then I had this Pilot Vanishing Point at 31.2 and this actually is not bad. I don't know what about it. I think it's the ergonomics. It makes it so it's not like disturbingly heavy. So that means anything below 30, 32 I should be able to tolerate, right? This one's 26, yeah. Okay, I think I'm just tired. So I don't even know if I want to unbox the other pen now because like what if I'm underwhelmed? Am I underwhelmed by this? Is it because it's not appealing aesthetic wise? No, it's just that I don't remember feeling it like this, this metal and a because it was stained, but also because I don't, is it because of my mood? I wasn't researching this for weeks leading up to it and justifying why I needed to buy it. That might be it also. Anyway, thank you for watching and make sure you tune in soon so that you can see what's inside the other box. Thanks guys. Bye.